proportional brushing is one of the best techniques I know for understanding the contribution that one dimension makes to another dimension. Let's look at an example. Here I have sales by region and sales by subcategory. Proportional brushing allows me to click on one region and see the contribution that that region makes up of my subcategories. It doesn't filter, it tells me the contribution. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this exact view. If you're new here, my name is Andy Kriebel and I'm the founder of Next Level Tableau. I created Next Level Tableau so that you can become world-class at Tableau. If that sounds like something you want, check the description for all of the different ways that you can learn from me. Let's get to that tutorial. First, I'm gonna go ahead and connect to Superstore. We need to create two charts. One is sales by region and one is sales by subcategory. Let's start by dragging region to the rows and sales to the columns, and then we'll sort descending. Change the view from standard to entire view. And let's rename the sheet by clicking on the tab at the bottom. Let's call it sales by region. Now let's create a new sheet. This time, we're gonna drag subcategory onto the rows and sales onto the columns again. Sort descending. And again, I'm going to change the view to fit the entire view. And let's call this one sales by subcategory. Great, we've got both of our charts built. Now what we need to do is create a set that captures the region that I click on. And then we use that set to show the contribution in the chart at the bottom. It's really simple, just follow along. Let's go back to our sales by region sheet. We're going to right click on the region field, go down to create, and then set. Let's leave the name region set and I'll choose one of our regions, let's say central. Click on OK and I know this is a set because I see the two rings next to the field. Drag our region set onto color and we can see the central region got highlighted because that is the item that's in our set. Let's go ahead and create our action. Go up the worksheet on the menu and then actions. Click on add action and change set values. Let's call this update region set. Leave the source sheet as it is. We want to run on select and our target set, choose our region set. When we run the action, we want to assign the values to the set. So what that means is when I click on a region, add it to the set. But when I click off, I want to remove all values from the set. And let me show you again what that does. So here I've clicked on the east region and it's highlighted the east within the view. So that has assigned the values to the set. When I click off of the east region, it then removes all the items from the set. Click on OK and click on OK again. And now we can test our action. Click on a different region and you should see that one turn blue. OK, perfect. That's working exactly the way we want. Right click on that set on the color shelf and uncheck include in tooltip. So now, when we hover over our tooltip, we see the region and the sales. Before we leave this sheet, make sure that one of your regions is selected. Go over here to sales by subcategory and drag the region set field on to color. And now we can see the contribution that the region we selected makes up of the total sales for each subcategory. What's important here to understand is we're not filtering the data. We're just highlighting the contribution. Going back over to the example, if I click on a region, notice how that my region I selected is on the left-hand side because that makes it easier to compare the contribution of that particular region. So what we want to do is over here on the color shelf, drag out, above, in. And that's all we need to do. Okay, now we need to put it together in a dashboard. Create a new dashboard and drag in a vertical container. If you want to add a title, drag in a text box. I'll call this my sales by region and subcategory. Let me center that, and maybe I'll make it a big font and bold and black. Okay, format it however you like. Hit OK. And I like the size of this on my dashboard, so I'm gonna hit this little pin to fix the height. Drag in the sales by region sheet, and drag in the sales by subcategory sheet below that one. Now you should have a color legend over here on the right-hand side. Let's go ahead and remove that. Click on the X to remove it from the dashboard, and then delete containers. So now if I click on a region, our action isn't working. Well, that's because we set it up as a worksheet action. We need to change that action to a dashboard action. 
So on the menu, choose Dashboard and then Actions. Select the action that we created and choose Edit. We want to change the source sheet to our dashboard. And we only want it to run on the Sales by Region sheet. So let's uncheck Sales by Subcategory. Everything else, we're going to leave the same. Click on OK. Click on OK again. And now let's choose a different region. And now I can see the contribution that the West region makes to the sales of each subcategory. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and leave a comment. That helps other people find it too. Have a good day.